and they're off. Day two of the Cheltenham Festival gets underway with the Neptune Investment Management Novices Hurdle, a short run to the first of the ten flights. Warren Tor, who was very edgy in the prelims, leads them over the first flight, taking a keen enough hold, tackled on both wings. To the inside rail, Windsor Park, out a little bit wider is Beast of Burden, tracked by Nichols Canyon, and then the grey, Vita de Rock towards the inside as they go over flight number two. Back in fifth position was Vita de Rock in sixth place came Outlander and then the Cerise Colours of Snow Falcon towards the outside of Ordo Abkeo and held up at the back of the field by A.P. McCoy is Parlor Games together with Antiros in the hands of Paul Maloney. A long run now before they cross over flight number three taken in the home straight. The first to last split already a good ten lengths as towards the inside rail Windsor Park and Davy Russell now just spearhead the field towards the outside Warren Tor and Gavin Sheehan racing in second, taking a very keen hold in third. Beast of Burden extending rider Paul Townend's arms. Then towards the inside, Nichols Canyon, Ruby Walsh sporting the orange armband as the leading rider of the meeting so far after his day one treble as they go over flight number three. In fifth place, Vita de Rock just guessed at that flight of hurdles, but not a serious error, being followed by Outlander. And then towards the inside is Ordo Abkeo, a further length of way to the outside is Snow Falcon, two lengths back to an unhurried Parlor Games and a further two and a half lengths to Antiros as they meander up the home straight. They've still got about a mile and three quarters to go. Flight number four will be the flight in front of the enclosures and Warren Tor and Gavin Sheehan have come back to once again claim the lead. To Beast of Burden towards the stand side and on the far side the yellow cap of Windsor Park. He's then being followed by Nichols Canyon and after Nichols Canyon is V to the rock and then auto ab KO on the inside of outlander and snow falcon as they go over flight number four parlor games is still last but one and anteros getting slightly outpaced at the back of the field in the 2015 running of the neptune investment management novices hurdle and it's now beast of burden who has pulled his way through to a share of the lead towards the inside is windsor park and warren Tor is racing in third nichols canyon cuts every quarter in a share of fourth with a gray vita de rock on that one's outside then the maroon colours of Outlander in the hands of Brian Cooper as they go slightly downhill at this point. Towards his inside is Order Abkeo, then a further two lengths back to Snow Falcon. Parlor Games still with only one behind, and that is Anteros as they race on now towards the first down the back straight. This will be flight number five in the Neptune, and it will be Beast of Burden to the outside who took off with a lead of a length and a half, and they all jumped it well. Windsor Park racing in second. Towards the inside, Nichols Canyon racing quite exuberantly on the inside of Warren Tor and then towards the outside Vita de Rock. Next is Order Abkeo towards the inside of Outlander who's yet to play any sort of role in the race. Two lengths back to Snow Falcon then Parlor Games and still last is Anteros as they go a flight number six and the leader Beast of Burden got in very tight there and wrapped the top of that flight. So it's Beast of Burden and Paul Townend who still lead but now it is a stacking packing field in behind towards the inside rail Parlor Games now picks up the bit and he's latching himself onto that leading group who cluster at the top of the hill. They go now towards a fourth from home. Beast of Burn had the lead. Outlander was the one who made a mistake there. He paddled his way through that flight. Didn't check his momentum but that was a first significant error for Outlander as now they come to the top of the hill. So they've got three more flights to take in the Neptune Investment Management Novices Hurdle and Beast of Burn bidding to give Rebecca Curtis a second win of the festival leads now by a length and a tail to the outside Vita de Rock and towards the inner is Windsor Park now Outlander begins to make his presence felt he's followed through by Orbo Abkeo also there on the inside is Nichols Canyon as they go over the third from home Warren Tor when weakening made a bad mistake and it is now Vita de Rock and Barry Geraghty who get the lead to Beast of Burden between them is Windsor Park still going well Ruby Walsh has angled out wide on Nichols Canyon for the first time as they got over that flight. Nichols Canyon didn't get very high and Windsor Park and Davy Russell have the rail and have the lead in the Neptune. Over in second Vita de Rock and Barry Geraghty to the inside. Parlor Games is staying on for AP McCoy. Down the outside Nichols Canyon and wider still is Outlander. It's up for grabs with one more flight to take and it is Windsor Park and Davy Russell who have the lead as they jump the 10th and final.
final flight. A bad mistake in second by Vita de Rock. Parlor Games has taken second, but with four lengths to find on Windsor Park. And Windsor Park is driven out for Derma Weld and for Davy Russell. And it's Windsor Park who takes the Neptune. Parlor Games in second, Nichols Canyon in third, and close call for fourth between Vita de Rock and on the far side, Snow Falcon. First number 10, Windsor Park. Second number six, third number